My name is Eugene Panwinkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung NC110 laptop computer, or a netbook computer, with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on a Samsung NC110 netbook computer. Before we do anything, we want to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. We flip the netbook over. There's two levers right, up, right behind the battery. We slide them out, outward, and then we remove the battery. If it were so easy. There we go. Okay, so we slide out and slide the levers out and slide the battery out. Okay, once the battery is out, we can work safely on the laptop, and the next order of business is to remove the screen bezel. And the screen bezel is secured by four screws, two here and two here, which are hiding behind some screw covers. All right, before we go any further, I'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. Just in case, we also have a smaller PH0 bit, a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, and an exacto knife with a pointed blade to remove screw covers. Okay, so the first order of business is to remove the four screw covers, and we will do that right now. So we use our exacto knife to do that. One. Two. And what I like to do with the screw covers is put them right next to the screws so that we don't lose them. Like I almost did right here. And we have the fourth one. And we put that right here. Okay, right away I see that for this laptop we're going to need the pH 1 bit, or I'm sorry, the pH 0 bit to remove the four screws. Okay, one, two, and this one's slightly in an angle. So we're gonna tilt the screen back and use a little bit of pressure to remove this one. And finally, the last one. And that one's removed. Okay, next order of business is to snap the bezel off, the screen cover off, the screen frame. What I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and you'll hear snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. You just work your way around the screen. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. In this case, once you get started, it was very easy, and we're there. Okay, so we put the bezel to the side, and we take a look at the screen. This is a 10.1 inch LED screen, and it's the slim variety. There's two types. One that's a little bit thicker, where you mount it from the sides, and the thinner one, where you mount it from the tabs on the front. And this is called the slim screen. So in order to remove this screen, we remove these four screws from the metal mounting tabs. And when you start removing sets of screws, make sure you keep each set in a separate pile, so that when you put the laptop back together, you know which screws go where, you can keep track of them. Okay, and when you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit because you don't want the screen falling forward on you once all the screws are removed. Okay, and next we tilt the screen forward, make sure nothing is stopping it. 
in right away and we feel some resistance. So I'm going to see what's going on. Actually, nothing. And we tilt the screen back. Okay, so next we take a look at the back. There's one connector that we need to remove and it's down here. And there's some adhesive tape securing it. I was leaning forward to see where the adhesive tape ends, so it's actually not that long. So you lift up the adhesive tape, like so, and then you slide the connector out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put it back in. What you want to do is slide it in, and you'll hear two snaps, or you'll feel two snaps and the connector will be back in. Okay, let's get a close-up of what the connector looks like. Okay, it's kind of hard to see behind the tape, so let's lift up the tape. Okay, this is what the connection looks like. Usually it's the biggest source of trouble when people do this at home, they don't connect it all the way in. Make sure there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. That's the most important thing. And you feel the two clicks when you slide the connector back in. You can pause the video right here and compare it to what you have. Make sure it looks like that. Okay, so let's continue. Let's take a look at this screen again. Okay, let's slide the connector out and let's take a look at the screen. Okay, this is a 10.1 inch LED slim screen and mounting tabs on the side. This is fairly common. You shouldn't have much trouble finding it. Let's take a look at the part number. The part number is LTN101NT08. Now when you receive your screen, most likely it will not have the same part number but it should look exactly the same because there are several vendors that make the exact same screen. Now you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is a compatibility guarantee. We'll guarantee you that the screen we sell you will be compatible with your laptop. If not, we'll send you a replacement screen. And the second thing is we have free email technical support when you do the installation. We'll walk you through the installation if you need to by email. Okay, and what you do to get it from us is you go to screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen at the bottom of the page, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out, and you fill out the form with your model number, and then we'll point you to the right screen. Okay. All right, uh, so once you do get your screen in, put the connection in as I showed you, like so. Then put the screen back in, put the four screws on the mounting tabs, snap the screen bezel on, and then put the four screws on, and you should be ready and good to go. And that's it. This is a Samsung NC110. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. Name the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And thank you very much, and good